Click File, click New. When it opens, you can change the preset from Custom. Over here, you can see the range selection of option. For me, I'm using the FHD version of preset, but I change the resolution into 300 dpi. After that, you can also check this paper color and change from the default white into something looks more gray or sepia. Click OK. After that, this you can also check or uncheck the record time lapse since it will record everything. Now you have this document ready. You can also change the paper color into anything that you wish. Lock the paper by using that icon over there. For the next step, I will open my Clip Studio app to browse the selection of Clip Studio assets. When it opens, you can also find something in here. For me, I'm typing the ratio and then I click on the detail. I click on the price, it's under free. You can see many free materials that you can choose. You just scroll down and find this Fibonacci one. Inside the selection, you can find a lot of golden ratio in major and minor composition. It's very useful and it's saving a lot of our time. My suggestion before you download, you can always click like button, favorite, then feel free to download it. Feel free to browse and if you find anything that you like, please just download and then save it for later. Okay. Okay, now we are in the blank canvas and you can just drag and drop your composition grid into the canvas and it will fit perfectly. Why? Since the dimension of the canvas is the same as our content, the download content. Now you can lower the opacity down until 25% or more. You need to have the draft on the bottom of the composition grid. As you can see, I'm just using the design pencil to draft the layer, giving the sketch, like also these clouds and the other things. Okay, for the coloring, you can see I'm using the design pencil. As you will notice from my other tutorial, I'm just always using the strength for coloring it, or maybe not the strength at all, just simply giving the colors. When you see on my color wheel, you might notice that most of the time, I'm just using the in the middle part of those triangle. Why? Because the mute color consists of grayish colors. And it's good for the plain air painting. So based on the composition above, I will be honest with you, most of my time digitally coloring something like this plain air, I use only one layer and starting with only the design pencil. You can see on my video, here I keep on using the muted color to brush everything else. I use pen, mapping pen or another sharp pen that suits you and to make sure the cloud shapes will have no hole because we need to fill the colors inside them. If you have a slight space, only a little one, the colors will go outside the clouds and you will be frustrated. Remember to use this powerful tool to lock and unlock the layers you are currently working on. It is good thing to add colors without too much worry for our brushes to go outside the shape because you will notice, I will just drop the shadow with the blue-gray and then the highlight with the yellow. After you've done with the pen, you can use any of watercolor brush to mix everything in between and adding another soft brush from airbrush to emphasize the cotton candy clouds or giving the highlights. Tips! Always use the lock and unlock transparency layer feature to enjoy your painting process. Big brushes will also a good addition to cover every brushes in one go. Okay, now you can use a medium sized brush to smudge the cloth with either a fingertip brush or a lighter ink brush coming from the India ink. You can see based on the video, I admit it's quite a speedy one honestly, but it's quite satisfying to do it.
If you feel that the colors are too bright, you can always use this Ctrl and U to open a window option for the hue, saturation, and luminosity to change or modify its color. Create a new layer, then use the gradient tool. For this one, I suggest to zoom out your canvas view, and then start the gradient line from the top outside of the canvas. Drag the line until the middle part of the painting to achieve a better gradient result. Create a new layer, feel free to use any brushes that you wish, but I stick to a very subtle one, which is India ink, the lighter ink. From the video, you can see how I just did a random fill throughout the sky, Remember, this is a theory for making the subtle louts, it is not a mandatory one, but the more height the sky means, the less the clouds would appear. If there will be anything you miss adding, always try to check back on its original design by turning your draft layer on and off several times. You will be the one to judge either adding more items in the picture will be a good idea or just leave it like that. In this case, I add the power poles with the subtle tapered pen in the distance as well for the foreground. You can see I add some grass, everything else was based on the original draft. This is pretty convenient and straightforward to do so. After you've done adding the foreground grass, please go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. After that, play along with each slider to see how blurry your grass will be. I go around 20 or something. If you wish to add more colors to the grass, don't forget to lock the layer's transparency. After that, you can use the big round of soft brush and pick lighter colors to give a variety of grass colors. Or maybe you need to add more flowers? Please do your own creativity since we are nearly done here. I hope you enjoy everything here and then the creation will be have a limitless possibility.